Okay, intro fail. Take two. Here I am in a level I am creating. I'm going to show you what I've been working with. So going to put my sort of silliness aside for this and show you what I do when I'm actually serious or working. So before this level that I am showing you here, I had a Neon Platformer, which is a level I worked my freaking bones out to make. Every time I was on a little planet, I instantly shot myself to the level to work on it until I was either exhausted or bored with it and decided to do something else. And even after I published it, there was still a lot to be fixed. And now, there's very few problems with it, even the blah, 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 blah. So, after that, I decided I was kind of done because my work usually doesn't get much ratings or notices or recognition or anything. So for this next level, I actually really wanted to put out, and is going great so far. I wanted to just take the time to do what I wanted with it when I wanted to, and slowly work on it. Uh, I started working on this somewhere but in the middle of when I was working on Neon Platformer, and um, right now it's about halfway finished. So that's like half a year later, I think. I could look back at Neon Platform and look at when it was published, but I don't think I'd re I could. I might remember when I started working on it. So this level, I kind of don't want to give too much away because it's the secret level I'm kind of resorting to. I'm not going to give away the name, the description. I could give away a couple of the basic ideas of it, and from when you're me flying around and looking at it, I think you can get a basic idea of some of the things it is. Black background rooms with the same materials, mostly, limited what is in it, such as materials and stickers and a few other things. A couple of these things are going to be erased because I had to put them here to get the general idea of what, this is also a maze, sort of, I'll tell you that, um, that. So I had to put all these arrows here to show myself what room, uh, connects to what, and to sort of see how the level progresses um, from start to end. And since this is a puzzle maze, the start, um, compared to the start, the end is going to be real hard. So right here you have some platforming stuff. You get the general idea of what's going on. And you look at these, you're like, what do I do here? So unpause. You get the triangle, you go through one of the portals, and you end up in another room. And from that, you have to get from the yellow to the blue. And you can see the numbers here. And as the numbers go up... I need to show that. Hang on. It's a bit loud for me. kind of want to focus. Don't want a background sound interrupting me. So, the numbers kind of show you how much you're progressing so far. And it goes from 1 to 15... And 15, I haven't gotten a basic idea of... The only thing I know is that from 10 to 15, there's going to be multiplayer challenges, making it insanely hard. So, from 1 to 6, I think, is platforming challenges, and then 7 to 10 is going to be nuts-a-bunch um, puzzles. Like this one I sort of have here. Um... I guess for, um, I'll start working like when I'm done going through these. So for this puzzle, you grab this, and you grab this red one, and it unlocks a purple one. And you're supposed to go through the six basic colors until you've, um, reached this here. Pretty much the end of the one room. And then, so that's a grab and sort of parkour challenge. Well, this one... Hang on, let me zoom out here. This one I made, I really like this one. You start out here, unpause, and when these things are standing up, they're wall jumps, but when they're across, they're bridges. And these clear-ish things here you see are walls, kind of borders, so you can't move back unless you're in these blanks, these empty zones where you can. This is... This is the um, one you can go all three lanes. And this one you can only go the first and second lane. And the third one, you have to go through here. I think you can kind of see it. And then 
And the reason I'm here is I'm going to work on something. I thought of something I could use for a level 8 challenge. But of course, since it's a level 8 challenge, it has to be sort of obviously not easy. So, basic idea I'm going to do here. First thing either I do here, I put, put it either here or here. I'm guessing it's going to be here since it's a sort of grab and wander around thing. So, I guess this is now where I'm going to start building. Go to the star page and grab the material I need. Basic thing I want is... Oops, grid. Always have the grid on. That way I know it's uh, prone to work. Another thing I do is set it to medium or large. I had the room set up with a specific grid so that it can be symmetrical in sort of ways. So this is, I think, by... 12 by something, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 14 by 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, this, and then go like this, oops, I can't edit the walls or background for this, okay, so it looks like the ye these yellow things are where you're going to start, meaning from two points, you're going to end up in here. And then, this looks like the middle, so I'll put it here. Unpause. I want this to be a non-pause needed level. Okay, so do that. And then... Why did that happen? I'm gonna not question it. It's supposed to be on... Why is it doing that? It's supposed to be on the grid. It's not supposed to be connecting these squares if it's on the grid. Anyway. Maybe if I just do this and then blah 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 blah. Okay. There it is. So this is the first room I'm deciding to put um, enemy brains in, which I'm going to go to the gadgets page and grab myself a little creature brain. But before I do that, I'm going to get a magic eye and just stick it here. So I'm going to work on the details awesomeness of this level when the level is finished because I want to make sure the meter right there on the left isn't filled up too high. I want this to be able to be played in fourth pl um, four players. The last level I made... I wanted it to intend it for multiplayer, but it was still quite filled up. Not to the point of it telling me uh, you need to um, get rid of some stuff because your level is overheating, but just enough so that if you're playing in multiplayer, the level kind of bugs out a bit. This one, I'm going to have it limit to... Let me put my finger here. I want it to be sort of here. That way, or either there or under, that way I'm pretty sure there will be floor players. I have I'm a loner when it comes to playing or creating or anything so I haven't much experience with multiplayer action so making a multiplayer level wouldn't be that easy for me so now that we got the eye there I'm gonna set it to actually I remember now um okay hang on I just thought of something I just remembered something I was gonna add to it I thought of this room yesterday so flatten this, put it out like this, grab the eye, and stick it here. Eight and a half minutes, okay, we're going really quick. Alright, um, we're taking a while, I should say. Let's have this one start as red, because first color of the rainbow. People might think it'd be menacing, but this is a puzzle level, so let's confuse them, why not? So, you have the eye here, and you have all this. Um, now I'm going to get the grid and sort of thin this out. So, let's go medium, and then do this. And we'll trim the rest of these here. And hope that we don't really wreck anything. Or mess up. And then after that, I'm going to set up more squares where it is possible for the eye to uh, show up. Oops, wrong button. But people won't know what square it appears on. So for these, I'm going to have them be small eyes. And this guy here, I'm going to shrink this down to two squares, so it's one eyeball. But the eyeball is going to be the same size as the square. Alright. So then we have this square here. Almost done. Let me cut the video here and then continue.